Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chegev World on my YouTube channel. I welcome you all. All my new subscribers, you're highly welcome. Thank you, my old subscribers. Thank you, my viewers. I hope everybody's doing great. And I want to say Happy New Year to all of us once again. So I am going to bring you another interesting topic like I told you guys last time. And this time around, we are going to talk about ways destinies can be stolen from you or anyone around you or anyone you know. That is the topic for today. And I want you, if you know you are doing anything at the moment, please drop whatever it is you are doing. Sit down. This very topic is interesting. You really need to know all these things because you wouldn't want to mix up things in your life. You wouldn't want any setback in your life. So I urge you guys, leave whatever you are doing at the moment. Pay attention. Listen carefully. You will learn one or two things, if not all, from what I'm going to speak today. So without wasting much of our time, I'm going straight to number one. Number one, like I said, ways destiny can be stolen from you. First of all, what is destiny? Destiny are the gifts God has bestowed on each and every one of us that can detect what you will be in future or that can tell what you will be in future. Destiny are the things that makes our life beautiful and meaningful. So each and every one of us have destiny and we are striving to get to our destiny. You truly do not need to know how your destiny is going to look like. Only God knows how your destiny is going to look like, but you strive to get to it and be able to achieve your dream. So, but unfortunately for us, there are evil people, evil men, evil women out there who steal people's destiny to enrich themselves. It's not as if they don't have their own destiny, but because they are diabolical and they are into so many bad things, they, they always try to steal people's destiny. And unfortunately, they succeed. If you are not walking in the spiritual, they will steal your own destiny. These are like hunters. They are everywhere hunting for people's destiny to enrich themselves. There are so many of them we are going to talk about today. So number one, money. Money is a way people can steal people's destiny. That is if you happen to meet a diabolical person, they'll give you money. And in that way, they will steal your destiny. What am I trying to say here? People with diabolical means, people that are so diabolical can give you money. They're giving you money not because they want to give you money, but because they they have seen something in you that they desperately need and they want to steal it from you. They know ordinarily they cannot get you. So they use money to get you by giving you money. That is why I always teach this and let people I know and the ones I don't know know that it is always best when you are giving money. I don't care who gives you money. Call that person a saint. I don't care. Whoever that gives you any money, try and bring out God's percentage there. When you bring out God's percentage, go and throw that one into the church and speak on that money. Do not fail to do this. When you speak on that money, tell God, so so person gave you this money that you are giving him God his own percentage. That instead of that money to work the other way around, assuming there's something in it, that God should please multiply that money for you. That whatever you set your hands on with that same money, that is going to work out perfectly well for you. If it's business you are doing, the moment you put that money into your business that is after giving god his own the moment you put that money into your business let your business sow more than it used to sow whatever that thing is let it work out for you for your own good and not for your downfall but remember make sure you pray and do all these things take out little from that money put it inside the church give it to beggars pray to god and you are good to go make use of your money nothing will happen to you the only thing i know this will do is if that person is a diabolical person and, and they happen to give you that money, they'll be monitoring you. However, they'll monitor you. I don't know whether through you or anything. I don't know. I don't care to know, but I know they'll monitor you. They'll be monitoring to know if what they're aiming for is, is going to work for them. But by the time you do all these things that I'm teaching us now, it will not work anymore. In fact, it will backfire on them. That money will be a blessing for you and their own downfall because it will definitely ruin something for them. Whether in their coven, whether in their private life, it will definitely destroy something for them. And what they will do is to hate you. They will hate you with, with a passion to the extent that they wish you dead. If you think we are not making sense here, go back to that person, try to ask for money again. You'll see what that person will do to you. In fact, they will lash it out on you. They will chase you like, like as if you're a thief. They will so hate you that they wouldn't want you to come close to their vicinity, talk more of getting close to them ever again. 
So that is our number one, money. Bad people can use money to take your destiny. So always pray over it before you make use of it. Always make sure you read God his book before you make use of that money. Do not forget. Then number two is there's still power. There are some people you'll see by nature, they are powerful people, even when they are not rich. They are strong willed people. We have so many people like that. Then these bad ones hovering like roaring like lion looking for whom to devour. When they see you, they will know if you are that type with that power, with that willpower, you know, that blessings of God in you, even though you haven't become anything, they will want to steal that power from you to enrich themselves with more power. Then they'll do this thing by stealing that power from you. We're teaching all these things for us to open our eyes, stop being ignorant. Don't come out to say nothing is happening in this world. Every single thing is happening and it has already been done in the spiritual. The only thing they do is coming out in the physical to carry out their evil plans. Do not allow this thing to happen to you or to your children or to anyone you know. Take precautions on time. Then the third one is long life. Not everybody has long life. Let, let's be honest with ourselves. Every, there are some people you see, they die young, unfortunately. You look at them, maybe the highest age there is 45, and they keep dying like that. Anybody that gets to 45 dies, or anyone that gets to 50 dies. Then there are some people you see, they live up to 100 years, 110, 90, 95. You keep wondering, what are the different, what is, what is that thing those people have that these other people do not have? Is the truth is there are some people with long life and there are some without long life. But of course, you want to have a long life. The only way to have a long life is by constant prayer, by always praying to God, reminding Him to bless you with long life. Then these bad ones they are talking about, when they look at you, you happen to be that type with long life, they will want to steal it from you. They will come close to you, they will make friends with you so that they will have a means to steal this long life from you. And if you are not careful, if you are if you are careless with them or careless with your life, they will steal steal your long life and add it to, to them. That's why where sometimes you see people who, who are the, the type known in their generation that gets up to 80, 90, 90, 100 and above. The next thing somebody will die suddenly at 20 something or 30 something. You find out that they are shocked, like, how did it happen? This is not in our gene, this is not. In our lineage, it happens. So please be careful. Bad people steal long life. Then the fourth one is fame. Wow, wow. This one is more than interesting. There are some people with fame. There are, you know, some people who are very, very famous in what they do, or very, very naturally famous, even without doing anything. That is a gift from God. That is a blessing. You see some children at a very tender age, you can tell this one will be famous in future. It is a natural gift. Then some of them are the people that walk through fame. That's by working hard in what they do, and eventually they manage to be famous. Then these bad people, these vultures, are always hovering, watching these things, eyeing those ones who are famous, and they will make friends with you. You need to be very careful. When they start coming to you, they are trying to steal your fame. When they steal your fame, they add it to death. This I'm teaching us is not necessarily only the only the people in top places. Even in school, as students, some students are diabolic. Whether you want to believe it or not, they can go to their sets of school. Their fellow student um, staff, you know, we call it staff. They try to steal it from him or her. Talk more of these people in top places when they notice you are famous. Because when, when you are so famous, we all have glory, I know. But people that are famous, they, it's like they have a different glory altogether. Wherever they go, they magnet people. People favor them. People love them. People people do things for them at free will, without without mixing words, without, you know, biting their finger. People just love them naturally and keep favoring them wherever they go. Talk more of what they are doing and it's making them to be that famous. Then you see these vultures hovering, trying to steal that thing from them and they do succeed. Many ways of stealing fame from someone is, first of all, um, if he's a bad person, for example, a man, he can come like as if he's coming to marry you and he will definitely marry you and Turn around to be your husband and when they become your husband it's very easy for them to steal your fame because number one you'll be sleeping with them you'll be living with them in the same house they know where you keep your clothes where you keep your undies it's by the way they have become your husband so it's so easy for them to steal that your 
Spain. That's why when they steal it, you find out that somebody who used to be popular will not be popular anymore. Even while you're going on the street, people don't notice you anymore. It's not ordinary. It's not ordinary. People do steal people's fame because these demons is God's, God's gift. And there are evil ones who are after these demons people to steal their glory and shine even brighter. Then others, there are so many of them. Some of them are like some pastors. Unfortunately, we have some men of God or women of God who steal glory from people, whether you want to believe it or not. They use so many ways of doing this. Sometimes they will use something like, thank you, we are going to talk on that. We are coming there just to steal your glory by trying to bless it from your head in the name of blessing you. And let me not go deep into it because we still have a lot to talk about on this one. But let me end it by just, there are evil people that steal fame from the ones who are famous.